Hello, I'm Mrs Nahal, the Head of Humanities at John Wilmot School, and I'm here to explain to you what you'll be studying in Year 9 Humanities Lessons. Now, as you may be aware, you have to select either History or Geography as a subject in Year 9. It's one of your options. However, a new thing that we've got this year is we are also introducing GCSE RE, the full GCSE, and everybody will be studying that. So the first topic that you'll be studying in RE, GCSE, which everyone is studying, is a unit called Christian Beliefs. You need to know Christian beliefs and practices. You will then study Islamic beliefs and practices, and you'll also study four thematic topics, War and Peace, Crime and Punishment, life after death and justice and human rights. So before you can learn the topics you have to have the foundational understanding of beliefs. So you will notice here these keywords. Some of these words you will have already looked at or will be aware of. So for example you might already know what the word Omnipotent means because you studied it in year seven when we looked at beliefs about God. But there are other words that might be new to you here, like atonement or salvation and what salvation means for a Christian or how the Trinity works and therefore makes Christianity different to any other religion. So one of the things you could be doing over the summer is familiarising yourself with these words, the spellings of these words, the meanings of these words, and having a think about how these words might link together. So how, for example, crucifixion and resurrection might be linked. And how that might link to then ascension. If you are of the Christian faith, you might already be aware of these words. Um, so you might want to have a look at Holy Scripture and see where these things are mentioned if you own a Bible, for example. After we have looked at these key words, the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to study what Christians believe about God. Um, the key views on God as being just and loving and caring. How the Trinity operates. So the idea of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, how the three are one God, but with separate characteristics. And then how that belief, especially of Jesus as the Son, can be used and linked to salvation. You'll see up here as well that we have to study the different events in the life of Jesus and how they influence Christian beliefs, Christian practices, and one really good way of being able to know this and study this is by knowing what the Holy Week is. So Holy Week is the last seven days of the life of Jesus. It's the seven important events, six important events um, in the life of Jesus on the run up to his crucifixion. And they're marked by the Christian church on Easter week. One thing you could be doing to get yourself ready for REGCSE is having a look on, for example, YouTube. You'll see on YouTube that there are loads of different video clips about GCSE. So we study AQA, GCSE Religious Studies A. There are 25 minute clips about Christian beliefs and teachings. There are people telling you how to succeed in answering questions, which will be useful. And there are different teachers talking over PowerPoints of key information about Christian beliefs and practices. So by watching a few of those, you'll familiarise yourself with the content that you are going to be studying in year nine. In addition to the core RE that you have to do, you might decide to pick history. Now the first unit you will study in year nine history is called um, Britain Health and the People, also Medicine Through Time. And this spans a thousand years of medicine, medical discoveries, different doctors and surgeons and the role that they had in the shaping and the creation of 
medicine. You will have a look at, if you can see here, this timeline, four different periods, the general beliefs that people had during those times, so for example, in the Middle Ages, it was a period of turmoil and recovery from the fall of Rome and the rise of the Catholic Church. They had a big event, well, multiple big events, but one big event which happened was the Black Death. And you will have a look at how the thinkers at the time, like Galen, shaped the concepts of medicine and the ideas about how to treat people that are ill during the medieval period. And you will do that through the four different stages of medicine through time that gives you a thousand years of medicine. So as you can see, we start from a thousand AD and we are in 2020. This knowledge organiser is large. There are multiple slides because you are looking at a thousand years of knowledge. So what it does is that's the general overview page. Then you'll have key events in the Middle Ages and it shows you again this timeline of what we're talking about when we say Middle Ages. You will have a look at how Christianity has actually impacted on medicine. So the church initially had a really big um, impact on how people were treated, who was treated. Many doctors, like it says down here, were members of the clergy, so they were actually religious, religiously ordained. And what they believed about how people became unwell. So, for example, mental illness, they saw it as a punishment from God. Or you could be possessed. You will also look at Islamic medicine and how, as the rise of Islam happened, how medicine was affected and how they treated people differently. So again, surgery in the Middle Ages, what it was really like. As an example. What you could really be doing to get ready for GCSE history, if you chose to take the subject, is you could be having a look at different clips about medicine through time. So all I've done is I've gone onto the BBC iPlayer and in the search bar I have written medicine through time. I can click on BBC Two History and I've got here some short clips about surgery, government attitudes to healthcare, how surgery becomes important in medicine. And you can watch clips like that to get yourself up to speed with the topic. You may also want to research different thinkers that you will see if you go back to the start of your knowledge organiser, different individuals here and how they have played a role in the different time periods that you can see on the left hand side of your table. Okay, so in addition to history you could also select geography if you wanted to. If you don't want to do history and geography because there are other option subjects that you would prefer to do, you can choose between history or geography. Now, if you were to pick geography, the first unit that you study is the challenges of natural hazards. So there are some units about human geography, looking at cities and how people's lives are affected through studying geography. And the other um, units that you'll look at are physical geography. So looking at the planet. Now this one is the challenges of natural hazards. You will see up here some key information about, for example, volcanoes. So you will study how volcanoes happen, how they formed, how they erupt. And then 
what people do to get ready for volcanic eruptions or how they monitor the activities of volcanoes. As well as volcanoes, you will look at earthquakes. So you will have a look at big earthquakes, such as the Haiti earthquake in 2010, that had a massive impact on the lives of people living on Haiti. As you can see down here, it says that over 200,000 people died and 3 million people were affected. So you will study how an earthquake happens, what are the consequences of an earthquake, long and short term consequences, and then if you can see here, what people do to try and prevent earthquakes having such catastrophic impacts on people's lives. As well as that, you will have a look at things such as tropical storms, how tropical storms affect the lives of people, and you will look at different examples, different case studies. Down here, Typhoon Haiyan will be another study that you will look at. How tropical storms are formed. And then you'll look at a case study of UK. Now it says here the UK heat wave of 2003. We have just seen the hottest day recorded of temperatures well over 30 degrees in some places. So it will have a look here at why heat waves happening, what the effects are on people in the UK, how we can try and manage heat waves, and why we're getting such crazy weather. Now one of the big things is we would link changing in weather to climate change. So as the planet heats up, it sort of knocks things off an even keel and it means that we might experience very hot summers where we wouldn't normally or crazy storms that kill hundreds of thousands of people that might not normally have happened or might not have happened in such an intense way. So we'll have a look at how global warming and climate change actually is impacting on these storms, these natural hazards that are happening and how we can try and manage the effects that climate change is having on the planet. Now, if you are interested in getting yourself ready for this unit, you can have a look at BBC Class Clips. Just go on to Google Class Clips. There are if you click on secondary, it will bring you up to a list of all of the different subjects. You can have a look at geography 14 to 16, and it will bring you to this page where you'll see loads of different clips. So for example, 10 worst weather events that shook Britain. Likewise, you could actually go onto the knowledge organiser and you could just study different natural disasters. So for example you could put into YouTube Typhoon Haiyan and there will be documentaries about Typhoon Haiyan. Same over here, Haiti earthquake. You'd be able to find documentaries on YouTube about the earthquake in Haiti, the effects, the reasons for it. That would then subsequently lead you to be able to see other video clips about different natural hazards and different examples of earthquakes or volcanic eruptions or um, typhoons, heat waves, global warming, etc. So you can easily do research on the different key studies that you'll be looking at in this unit just by typing the name of the storm or the name of the natural hazard into YouTube and seeing if you can watch any documentaries about those.